In this video guide, we're going to be showing how to administer customer, project, activity, and expense type settings. These settings are referenced in time reports as well as expense reports. Let's get started. First, we go to the administration screen. To set up a customer, go to the customer list. In the customer list, you'll see all your existing customers. To add a new customer, you simply add the customer from the menu. We'll just call this new customer. To delete an item, do the opposite. Select the customer, press the menu key, select delete. An existing customer, simply select the item, press the trackball, and make whatever changes are necessary, and then save. That's it for customers. Now customers are used and referenced in both expense and time entries. Now we'll move on to projects. Projects are also referenced in time and expense entries, but they also can cross-reference a customer. In this case, we're going to create a new project called Billing System Phase 2 and reference it to the same customer as the existing project. To do this, we select the project press the menu key and duplicate the selection. We're going to call this Billing System Phase 2. And you'll note that the customer here, because we duplicated from an existing project, is uh, the original project's customer. If, if we desired a different customer, we would simply click on that field and select from the list. And we save. Next, we're going to move on and look at activities. Activities are common tasks that are performed in your business and are referenced in time reports. To look at the activity list, click on that menu item. In this case, we have a large number of pre-entered activities. As with customers and projects, you can add a new item at any time. New activity. Likewise, you can edit, duplicate, and delete activities in the same way as customers and projects. Next, we're going to look at expense types. Ex expense types as the name suggests, are the categories of expenses to which you assign an expense entry. The list of expense types with ReportAway is defaulted to the out-of-the-box list that you get with Intuit's QuickBooks accounting package. This list should cover most cases. However, you can at any time add items. For example, new expense type and save. You are also allowed, if you wished, to delete or change these expense types. If at some point you were to delete an expense type and you wish to reset these defaults, simply go to Reset Defaults. And that's it for Customers, Projects, Activities, and Expense Types. We hope this answered some of your questions around how to administer various configurable items for report away. Thanks for watching.